Welcome to Electra Online. Now we're ready to do some examples, to graph some circles given the equations. First we'll start out with some easy ones and then they'll get progressively a little bit more challenging and you'll see that in the videos coming up. But here we have a fairly straightforward set of equations, but first before we try to graph them we do want to put them into the general format. And you may say, well aren't they already in that format? The only difference is that we probably want to write the number as a number squared. So let's rewrite this. This can be written as x minus 4 quantity squared plus y minus 3 quantity squared equals 3 squared because now we can clearly see that the radius is equal to 3. And the same over here, we can say that this can be written as x plus 1 squared plus x plus 2 squared is equal to 1 squared. Again, you can clearly then see that the rate is equal to 1. Now, you may say, well, I didn't need to do that, and that's fine if you feel comfortable just looking at 9 and realizing that's 3 squared, and looking at 1 and say, hey, that's just 1 squared, that's fine, and you don't need to do that step. I always like to be as clear as possible. So the next thing we want to do is find the center of the circle and notice that if these are minus signs then h and k are positive. You can see that from the general equation. So in this case h is equal to 4 and k is equal to 3. So where those two meet that would be the center of the circle. And now from the center you're going to move a distance to the right to the left up or down equal to the radius. So we move 1, 2, 3 spots to the left we move one, two, three spots to the, oh, to the right, to the left. Uh, then we move three spots up, one, two, three, and three spots down, one, two, three. And then you can see that those four points are on the edge of the circle. You can then connect those like this with a nice little circle. And that represents the circle that is, that is equivalent to that particular equation. Now we can go over here, we do the same thing, but notice instead of negative signs, we have positive signs there. And since the general equation shows negative signs, that means that h and k in this case are negative, not positive. So h is at negative 1 and k is at negative 2. So negative 1 is over here, negative 2 is over there. So where the two meet, uh, I probably want to put my negative sign over there, that will be the center of the circle. The radius is equal to 1, and oh boy, that's going to be a mess, so let me clean that up a little bit. So negative 1, negative 2, I'll put them over there. So there's the center of the circle. Notice the radius is equal to 1, so we move one point to the right, one point to the left, one point up, one point down. If we connect those in the circle, there we go, a nice little cute circle with radius equal to 1. So you can see that the radius here is equal to 1, and the radius here is equal to 3. And so that's how we graph those two equations. Notice the difference when we have negative signs there, h and k are positive. We have positive signs there, h and k are negative. That's sometimes a little confusing, but remember, take a look at the general equation, and then it begins to make sense. And that is how it's done. That's a big graph for a small circle. <laughs> yeah. I should have made the points a little bit bigger. <laughs>